Hi, in this video we will show you how to build a, a typical uh, machia with a uh, Japan, modular Japanese house kit. Uh, in particular we will uh, uh, rebuild uh, this, uh, this machia here in, uh, in video, the front part of it, uh, this will uh, uh, show all uh, all steps, all steps uh, uh, for using uh, uh, our kit. Yeah. So now let's get started. First, we take an actor, empty actor. I put it on the level on the ground and change its mobility to to static so uh, we will attach everything to this actor in, in a way that at the end we can move our whole house scale the whole house just moving and scaling this particular actor then once we have done this we take a pillar and attach it to the actor. And now we will move it a little bit, this is just for more comfort, not really a necessary step. And then we, uh, we take uh, a beam 14 and place it uh, the modular snap plugin snap it to the, uh, to, to the correct place automatically and uh, well now what we have to do is to build the frame of the house and uh, well we start by 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 choosing the the wood of the beam one wood for the stereo and another for the interior part of the house and uh, the beam, the wood for the pillar that matches. That matches. Us. So after we will just duplicate uh, those uh, actors and not not having any more problem. Uh, we will always have the same wood after <laughs> that because we use duplicate. So uh, here we need another beam. This will be a 40, 80 centimeter. I mean, uh, two tatamis for the lateral part of the house. Then we duplicate the pillar and rotate it in a way that the side B is always the external part uh, of the of the house so you will have a wood uh, that go to the stereo it's not a really necessary step but uh, i find it uh, more comfortable than after i have to change the wood and there there will be a, a two tatamis uh, room another one yeah, we probably can say here that all Japanese architecture is measured in tatami. So in, in this kit for the sake of uh, respect of the, the Unreal Grid, the tatami is measured, measuring uh, two, 240 centimeters, no? Right, times Which, uh, it, uh, uh, in tatami the ratio is always one to, to two. two. So uh, we have a tatami 120 times uh, 240 in real life uh, tatami, they, are they are real smaller and uh, not fall in any particular grid uh, so size depends from prefecture to prefecture in Japan uh, and it's around uh, 89 centimeter uh, or uh, 91 centimeter in, I believe in Kyoto where they are bigger than in so in the end we, we can 
we can keep uh, those sizes or we can use the, our, our root actor that we placed in the beginning to scale ev everybody. And here you put another kind of uh, beam with beam, beam 20. And this is the part of the house that is... Um, the entrance. The entrance. This is uh, lower with, uh, or, 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 or the level of the aorta. The, or the other part, uh, it's, uh, they are... Uh, Elevated. It elevated. Uh, and, and this is, is directly on the floor. And this is directly on the floor. And uh, so this is where you, uh, you have uh, the entrance uh, and uh, then uh, you will have also the kitchen. It's, it was usually in the past uh, not uh, floored. It was just really the, 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 earth. the earth. That we will also have here, more yeah. or less. More or less, yeah, uh, I, I've seen uh, some picture on the web of actual Machia today and they put uh, uh, some more uh, uh, modern floor than, uh, than just the earth, but, uh, well, stones, for the stones or, uh, or concrete. I and see. here we change also the, the material of this beam well, we change the material of this beam because it's interior oh. so i i i i want a, that is interior for the two side and there is the, the, the small room there will be will be right eh? now it's just a frame That's the way to build also. In real life. In real life, I will build the frames. First. First. Another interesting thing is that uh, these houses uh, have uh, no nails. So everything is uh, clipped. Uh, it's it's quite only made of wood. Wood. It's really wood. No metallic. No metal. Beautiful. So we have our frame more or less done here, no? No. No. The the upper part is missing. Is it right. We, we still have to put all the upper part. And the second floor. And the second floor, yeah. Where I'm putting uh, was a big uh, beam up because uh, here it's the part that it is on, 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 the floor. on the floor. And small beam. A small beam go on, on, on the floor. I have already uh, shown you this in the previous video. So if you have any doubt, uh, go uh, look again at that video or the post on the blog. Well, we have to close the, this the room. The room still missing. Uh, it looks like it's the bottom part of the frame is more or less done. And there we need a, a second. Second part of the wall. Of the wall for the first floor. Well, in the first floor uh, higher than in, uh, in the second floor. And you see all those sizes written on the on the on the pieces on the beams and pillars. They will they are editor only. So in game they they disappear, of course. Yes. Also, the letters. Is letters for the for for the side. For the side, yeah. Where we all disappear. You're just for simplifying when one build.
And, the and here is... will be a little garden outside of the house. No? Yeah, this uh, internal garden. It's, it's actually very small. Yeah. But also in, in, in real life, it's like that. Like in the picture that you've seen in the very beginning, it's it's made like so to 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 allow better aeration of the house to to make the air circulate between parts otherwise it's too hot and too wet in japan so you need to make some tricks to to make the air go through Yeah, well, it's also a change of the material because uh, it's, uh, it's internal, both sides. Yeah, A is, here A is usually the internal part. And B, the external. B, the external part, so it's easy to see because those materials are pretty similar after. Uh, yeah. With uh, the sun like that, it's difficult to see also. So with these big letters, you always know. Yeah, it's just, just small changes because the, the part of this in the stereo is more, uh, it's exposed to, to weather, uh, to, and the part in the so interior. In this part, we, we put two, two uh, beams in the middle. It's like made like that. Because the floor is lower, we have to compensate. So we put one more beam. and it will match and the, in the elevated part there is only one small beam and the, f and the sailing will be on the same high everywhere So this big beam is called BP beam 40 and the smaller beam is called BP beam 20. And the fact of the name came from the 8. Yeah, 40 centimeters and 20 centimeters. Here you don't need it because it's the room already, it's elevated. Hey, all those things as you can see on the bottom are in the arch folder. And now we... We put uh, the, the beam for the... Uh, the last uh, part. For the last part, for and the exa sailing. Exactly, the same beams. Beams 40, it like goes on, on the top, go all on the top. The so same that goes on, on the bottom, bottom yeah. and here on the middle. So just uh, you take them and du duplicate. Alt, alt, uh, Old Alta and, uh, and drag and, and, and drag. And so the plugin, uh, Modular Snap plugin will snap them in uh, the correct place. Yeah. So we build this plugin. We started to build this house first, and then we are not very good with mouse. <laughs> so <laughs> we made a thing that align stuff for us automatically. probably you will be able to build those things much faster than <laughs> we do. But for a tutorial, it's okay to show stuff slowly. You can always accelerate the video on YouTube. Almost finished the the frame uh, the first floor the frame of the first floor yeah that's it 
No, not yet. Not yet, no. And still a few other beams. Still there. One beam there. And now we can move away. The house. House. And I would say we frame it. Yeah. It's where. And now it looks like we will start to building. The floor. Floor. The floor snaps to those beams automatically. And you can scale it, uh, resize it like that. With the little handle. Just keep in mind that. It will always, mm, how to say that, try to put the larger side of the wall on the Y axis. So uh, sometimes you will need to, to turn it, to rotate it 90 degrees. Yeah, I, you can also change the material, there are a few materials. That's the little room. Yeah, it's... We almost have on the floor. Yeah, you see here... We have to turn it. You have to rotate it. Like so. Duck. That we... We did all the elevated floors now. We have to do the the small floor. Ah, and we we'll, you will directly create the the sailing. The floor is sailing is the same piece. This is the floor for the orton part. For the entrance. The entrance there. We need a, a, a small beam down there, otherwise uh, the hole. hole. So where you put one. And then... Uh, where is uh, a 360 times uh, 40. 480 centimeter floor and will be a stone floor There also we need a, a small one closing the hole. It's 
starting to look nice. And where I will eliminate the beam and ma just make the floor to continue. So I, I do a small small floor. Floor twenty centimeter wide. Like the beam. Like the beam and, and put it here. And put it instead of the beam. You can do that. Anywhere you don't want with that beam, you don't need it. Though. That's okay. And everything aligned. And now we put the ceiling for the small room. And it looks like, like we can now start uh, building the walls. And for that, uh, we will use uh, the, blue utility. the blue utility. The pay builder. The pay builder. That you find in an arch um, blueprint yeah. folder. Folder, yeah. And I have checked their user wood like beam sorts. So checkbox. checkbox, you you will automatically have the same wood wood of the beams. Uh, that's why it was important to. So here we built. We built just two basic uh, walls. Look, just magic. So the walls comes in various heights. And here there is a uh, a twenty forty uh, wall eight uh, eight uh, and eighty centimeter wall eight for the upper part. And the blue utility creates that plus the plus uh, the pillars. The pillars uh, between the walls. Between the walls. So here we have four walls, too big and too small. Where I uh, can take another kind of uh, of wall, another type, another type. So you can cho uh, choose a different type uh, uh, for the bottom and uh, the top part of the wall. The utility assign them already. And where I, I, I want to build the lattice part, uh, the front of the, of the store. So usually this uh, Machia house where I use it for the house for, of uh, shops. shops. And the, in the front part uh, there was the shop, uh, Mise. And typically those uh, shops uh, have uh, a lattice in the front. Uh, that uh, you can see through. You can see through, so you can. See, it's like a window, uh, and uh, at the same time it's closed, uh, so you can't uh, store things. And uh, uh, you also could recognize uh, uh, what uh, the shop uh, is selling uh, from uh, the uh, lattice uh, used. Uh, so each uh, kind of shop uh, uh, have, has uh, a different uh, lattice. Here, we will see that here too. Yeah. The, the kit includes various types of lattices. Yeah. And where we need a smaller 60 centimeter quarter tatami but you can do also bigger it's just that 
And here we use the same utilities to build the uh, lattice walls. Yeah. And there you you can choose uh, the the kind. The kind. Itoya is for it's for a um, for a yarn shop where you can buy uh, fabrics. Uh, yarn. Yarn. Clothes. Stuff like that. Stuff like that. This is uh, Kumeya. It's a shop for rice. And that will be our... I don't think I will love no. that. I just want to show that uh, you can change uh, this uh, property through the utility or directly in the properties of the blueprint. And this is uh, where I put back the Itoya. In fact, uh, so that's the story front. And we ended by adding the the beams on the top too. There. Pretty sugoi. And now we will put some doors just to show how to put doors. There are several kind of wood exactly like in the for beans and other stuff and several type types of of doors you can have paper or not paper and well let's take that one I put four doors in the in the original. I uh, put another lattice there instead of the of the fourth door. And where we are going to build the upper part of the roof of the roof of the wall. Now we need uh, here the, the entrance uh, for, the, for the merchant uh, that uh, live in this house while, uh, because in the back part of the house uh, that uh, the people where live. living, people living. Uh, and where we, we build the walls. So for the bottom part, I think I, I will show you how to do it without using the brutiet. It can be useful in a few cases, like here we just want a small wall plus the, plus the, the door, so it's done faster without the utility and where I need uh, a 2048 uh, wall I will just take half and I also put uh, normally you will put a, 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 a wider but where I will put uh, just a, a half pillar it goes better than with a with the doors 
and of course uh, you can choose material, uh, style uh, all that stuff you also need to check the right wood or the two sides And then we can just take some doors and put them. And now I'll show you to do something. Maybe you can be interested. So there we we have uh, um, two uh, beam for uh, compensating the eight. But there is another way to do the same. We can put a. Uh, uh, 120 wall instead of 80 wall and eliminate uh, in this way one beam as you can see and this is another way to, to obtain uh, at, at the end the same result and also a quite uh, it's also quite common to 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 see this upper part of the wall of different uh, eight so we uh, are just uh, changing the the eight of the pillars and putting this other wall And of course, uh, so it's just a choice, uh, not uh, one more possibility you have when building the, the houses. Also there, I, 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 I can leave things like they are, uh, but uh, I can also put uh, this beam down. Uh, This is the lateral part of the of the house that then is uh, have no window uh, and is protected by some uh, siding walls. That's why here I I'm choosing uh, to have uh, an empty wall so I can uh, an investorium part. I can then put this siding protection. So you see we have uh, the wall only in the internal part and not in the stereo part. And for the stereo part we take uh, this hour blueprint, uh, this wall siding uh, and put it over there. And of course, uh, you can change the material and we have two types. Let's, let's turn a little bit the sun because uh, I don't to show better. Otherwise, we don't see it. Also, put a little bit more light. Otherwise, pretty difficult to see. <laughs> And there, so now we can see the two types.
and then you need uh, some small pieces uh, for uh, for covering the the beam. That's also the reason for doing uh, these um, other uh, kind of blueprint uh, is that in, in a lot of these uh, lateral uh, uh, siding protection on the houses, uh, you you don't see the the beams. They are covered. They are covered. And then we just take it. Uh, oops, the floor it's coming with. I don't want that. Just take and duplicate. And fill all the gaps. And uh, just uh, for demonstration reason uh, on this other part, uh, we will uh, put another uh, way to, to do this uh, lateral uh, protection, this time uh, showing the, the beams. So it's again uh, choose the siding type, but uh, So in this other, this is a, there uh, are normal walls. Normal walls. Uh, you see the beam. It's a, uh, it's the same uh, as type B. But uh, with uh, the siding type B, you can cover the, the beams, uh, and with a normal wall you can't. Uh, and again, it's, uh, it's a choice you can make uh, also following uh, how you want the house to look and also how how many uh, triangles you want because the putting aside external siding is in terms of a little bit more costly and here we are putting uh, the some shoji doors. There are a few kinds of shoji. Really, you can choose, you can choose to put the paper on the outside. In this case, we have to turn it, which is also a possibility, actually quite often in Japan, in different photos from Japan, I've seen this. And finally, we continue putting Shoji everywhere. Well, can, for example, put uh, another type. Again, uh, the plugin uh, snaps uh, the the shoji in the right position. So that makes things uh, a little bit easier. Now we are up, uh, instead of the wall, this time we want to put some, uh, some window. And we can also put the same uh, pattern as the shoji. That is a uh, in the bottom part. And there uh, we can put some walls.
where uh, was still missing, we can change some type. Oops, not in the brutality, but I can change it again here in the properties. There are few more types of walls. And still, let's finish with the shoji. And build some more walls. So we are almost done. It's the first floor. Probably the first floor. Ah yes, now the Fuzuma. These are all the internal doors. Internal doors. Of the house. Of the house and you can also usually Often they are decorated. Decorated. And here we have. We have a few. Predefined. Uh, predefined decoration uh, that are, uh, in fact, uh, some uh, famous painting of the past. Yeah. But you can also add your own. Your own, yeah. The same way. And now we build the second floor. So just take a pillar, duplicate, move it up. Uh, for this house, uh, decide uh, to make the second floor uh, of 240 centimeters. So we need uh, 280 centimeter pillars. You can just uh, duplicate them following uh, the frame. Now, the other side, well, I take uh, the, a pillar from the bottom part so I don't have to reput the materials. And again, duplicate all along where a beam was not in the right place. Let's move it a little bit, Let's snap it to its correct position, and so on, duplicate the wall frame. So now we put uh, those 40 beam, beams also on the, for the ceiling so we can move 
hogy vet. Na, ve. E na, egyenna, újnyita szama. Flo, hogy szélinga. So, we have close it well. And we are going to put the wall. We can again use the utility, choose the kind of wall we want. And here we are. Now there we, we need uh, to put some uh, windows. Don't don't uh, so we say is window set to true and then build the walls and now we have a whole allowing the, the windows and the we switch is window to off because we don't need windows in that part so now we can put the, the window before we, we need the, some window rays. So our window can fly. We bring one there and uh, put it near our wall. You see it snaps automatically. Again we I have to choose the material and then we can put window in there and they snap also automatically. We only have to select the appropriate material. Now duplicate that window and have the second one the snap snap and then uh, we can just duplicate the whole thing and move it with snap in all the places and then uh, we can put some some uh, lattice covers covers uh, for those windows where it is Again, uh, select the appropriate material and snap it, uh, and then there are two types. Just duplicate and move it. Uh, And then we can build the lateral walls using the utility again. Select the beam also on this side and again uh, choosing the empty for the stereo part. And we can build them and then take uh, these uh, 240 Siding walls moving van and then a fort inside the wall and covering the beam. So the wall uh, is completely done. So now here yeah, we can uh, do some nice, uh, funny stuff. Uh, let's uh, select uh, for both sides of a special. And then let's take this blueprint. Uh, this is a wall uh, 45, it's 45 centimeter, eight, uh, and uh, it it goes uh, there in this in this hole. Or uh, you can also use it in for the exterior uh, if uh, you you want uh, some. Um, Lattice uh, 
Well, I have an example of that I, I will put in in the in the pack so you can you can see. And there also the brutality can uh, can build um, special walls. Uh, There, we put it, uh, choose the material and type. Now we can finally build uh, the, the roof and for that uh, we, we need uh, the BP roof. Actually there are two types uh, of BP roof, uh, one is uh, a low res and one is a uh, high res. Low poly. Low poly, one is high poly. And here uh, uh, for the this roof I use the the low poly roof because uh, you will never uh, see it from uh, near and I use the utility to build the roof up and uh, one important thing to to memorize uh, is every time you have a pillar you need uh, a, a small uh, pieces of 20 centimeter, I call it uh, small, and uh, every time, uh, and then you have uh, the pieces of uh, one, 120 centimeters that are used for, for the rest of the, of the roof. Also, there is uh, a, a final part of the roof, and then uh, some normal part of it, just. Uh, uh, just are uh, open and don't uh, don't have uh, any. I want to make things faster. I just uh, create a group of these uh, guys. That I will then duplicate. And here we need uh, a small piece because we have a pillar and then uh, we need four normal because we have a 480 room and then again we need a small oh well the, the room near it just the same so we can duplicate everything And then again, a small, and then three, normal. Plus a small, and we have our roof done. Now just I hit the control shift gay and duplicate one small pieces uh, piece uh, and uh, choose now the lateral lateral r r so i can have the final part of the roof and put it there duplicate snap And we need to do the same on the other side. Can duplicate one. This time is a lateral L. And, and uh, yeah, 
snap, duplicate and snap, and now we can do a group also of these other guys. Duplicate and rotate them 180 degrees, move on the other side. And roof is almost done. We just need uh, a small piece there to, to close the the roof, duplicate it uh, and move it on the other side. And finally we need an Onigavara and the roof cover, there is a, a BP I'm putting the the wall, the wall triangular wall, triangular wall before that. For uh, the size of this one, uh, you should have a look uh, to the to the walls, the top uh, and the bottom, knowing uh, how many tatamis they are. Uh, you can uh, you can uh, then scale it. Uh, uh, now there are a few pieces that uh, were not attached to. But some are. Some are. Now everybody is covered it, attached it. And we can come back to our triangle wall, triangular wall. Now uh, this beam uh, is uh, is uh, two. Four t uh, two tatamis wide. Uh, so here we put uh, in the uh, field base size in tatami we put two. Well, sometimes you can uh, put a little bit more uh, if. Uh, to be sure to overlap, uh, overlap everything uh, correctly. And again, you can choose the type uh, of this. Uh, and there we, we selected the type uh, that matches uh, with the bottom part. And let's is left uh, the, the cover of the roof. So we attach it to the to the actor, we rotate it, move it where it should go. Maybe tune a little bit more a smaller step and then uh, take this uh, and put it at the end. And now let's position a little bit more and here we are. Roof is done. 
Well, let's uh, take a look. Oh. Here you can put some, finally, some tatami. There are um, some um, traditional patterns for tatami. You can't, usually in Japan, people don't put tatamis in, in any, in any, in any pattern. odd pattern. There are some specific pattern for each size of, uh, of a room. You can uh, you you put tatami in some uh, predefined way. Uh, this is a typical way for uh, a, a room of two tatamis. And if you you you, you look uh, you Google it, uh, you the, can there, there are schematics uh, some for, for all all kinds of rooms. And now finally we can do some painting. We for that we use the vertex paint. Just we don't need the builder yet, so yet we can take color and then start painting. Here we have blue. We can change it to something else. And this way you can paint uh, the, the walls, the walls of the paper walls, and also the you can give a little more color to a fuzuma or stuff like that. And this is a typical small decoration uh, for the for the ceiling. Just uh, again uh, select uh, the size of the of the ceiling and then uh, the wood you want and finally another small uh, things you can do you you can select uh, the floor and the ceiling and then use the blue teeth and say make box reflection capture so you can speak a little bit about this yeah there's a little uh, feature on the blue utility that uh, create a box reflection capture in the correct size that fits the room you don't need to to align it by hand So now we practically have uh, done all the base for our house uh, and the only things we need uh, is to show how it, you can move it and scale it. Uh. Well, we have this actor, everybody's parented to it. And if you scale this actor, everybody will be scaled. It. And the correct scale to have a real world Japanese house is Zero eight three three three. Well, actually, it, it is zero seventy five. I would say zero eight three 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 is more uh, to have uh, a size uh, acceptable for uh, AI. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for uh, watching this. Hope you enjoy it. And uh, if you have any questions, questions. please ask. Bye. Bye.